Hey everybody, welcome back to Anna, Charlie, and Lauren's Coffee hey Review. Today we are doing Blue Bottle Coffee in San Francisco. We all had the day off, plus our beautiful guest Lauren, she is here you, with us you. today. And we just decided to take a trip and try Blue Bottle Coffee. Why are we trying Blue Bottle Coffee today, Charlie? So I'm a huge Disney fan and a lot of the people that I follow on social media post about this all the time. and. Um, I really wanted to try it solely on the cup. I think the cup is super cool. It's simple and that's why we're trying it today. So, so while talking about the cup and straw, I'm going to let Lauren lead the way on this one because yeah. she has some things to say. I love saving the environment. Anyone out there that knows me. So essentially I'm loving the lids because sometimes like Starbucks, for example, not to bash on Starbucks, but Ooh, their hard. lids are not as recyclable as they say they are. So they're kind of worse for the environment compared to like just having a straw and lid. So I like how these ones actually, like Charlie showed you, say compost me and they're actually compostable. Um, so I like it. And it looks like the cups themselves are also made of the same material. So yep. very good for the environment. A++ on that for me. Oh yeah. And it has their own logo on it. And we love that. To be honest, their advertisement is just the bottle. We walked up to the store, there's no name. It's just the blue bottle. <laughs> on like a in, really tiny sign. You walk in, all the merch that you buy is just the blue bottle. <laughs> and <laughs> the, only reason, <laughs> the only reason why we know it's called Blue Bottle Coffee is because of the cup. It says bluebottle.com, bluebottlecoffee.com. <laughs> and Google Maps. Yep, so advertisements, kind of funny. It seems very simple. They just want to put their money in coffee quality and obviously, not advertising yeah so. but clearly it works because yeah. it is so popular like i've even heard of it like you have that's the only reason why i wanted to come is because it is a blue bottle i mean you walk in i think their whole vibe is just simplicity because you walk in there's not a single decoration it's white walls literally nothing even their um what do you call it like coffee signs were super tiny like you could barely even see it yeah their menu their menu yeah so i think they were just focusing on the coffee and the taste yeah. but we don't necessarily think the taste is even that it's okay so notable it's taste it's i i we all tried all of each other's um i got a pour over with coffee what did you get anna i don't even know what i got to be honest <laughs> <laughs> because i asked for an iced vanilla latte and they're like we don't have vanilla but they have lattes so i don't really know what they ended up making for me she got charged for a sugar latte and yeah. asked for a nice latte. First of all, let's go in the customer service. It was a little weird, a little strange. I think he might have been new. Maybe, but that was the issue. What did you get, Lauren? I got my normal mocha with almond milk. Mm -hmm. And to me, they taste all the same. They have hardly any difference. Um, they're all decent. There's nothing to rave about, but they're also not bad. But also, we all got three very different drinks and they taste super similar, mm -hmm. which is like, not really super packed with flavor, nope. very subtle, basic. I don't know, how does your mocha compare to your usual mochas? I like tasting, the reason I like mochas is because I like chocolate and I like coffee. So the two together is just the best of both worlds. Yeah. But this one just tastes like chocolate milk, which I mean, I love chocolate milk too, but like when I'm expecting coffee, I want to taste the coffee taste, which I just don't taste in this. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. <sighs> then location, San Francisco, you know, that's all we have to say. <laughs> I will say though, we did get a close spot, but yeah. metered parking, one quarter is only worth two minutes. Yep, <laughs> two minutes. And we <laughs> to get our drinks for us to, for our three cups, it took about fifteen minutes total. Mm -hmm. I mean, we put yeah, and we were like the only ones in there too when yeah. we first got in there. So little off. Um, and then the let's do the last one, the price and the vibe. Oh, you, we you forgot. You the the I kind of got the vibe, but the but price. The, the price was. Pricey. You're paying for the location in San Francisco. I would expect it to be more expensive, but it was over five dollars. I think for all of our and this mm -hmm. for me should not be a medium. It should be That's a, little, a medium. Yes. They so they only have one size, and oh. they said um, they did not tell me that they called <laughs> it a, they they called it a medium to me too. I asked oh. for a medium, and then they're like, oh, we only have one size, but it's a medium size at a twelve ounce. So this is technically a small elsewhere but they called it a medium with one size 
And it's just like, if you're paying that much money for coffee, you should taste the coffee. So. Mine was five seventy two. dollars um, Yeah, steep. for a 12 ounce pour over. Mine, I don't know, guys. Mine was like six fifty. Overall, we don't recommend this place. <laughs> <laughs> but it was an interesting experience to I be mean, in San Francisco. It does the job for the middle of the day. We're tired and we need caffeine. We got the caffeine that's good. Um, it just doesn't live up to our standards. Our standards are up here. They met it down here, but we're also super picky and But I love the recyclable stuff. Yes. They... And a cup in straw is a 10 out of 10 for sure. Essentially, you're coming just to see this blue bottle. <laughs> just to see the blue bottle. So and pay some quarters. <laughs> and pay some quarters. So we appreciate Lauren being on our channel. I appreciate and, you guys. Thank uh, you. This special episode in San Francisco. So Cheers, everybody. Cheers. The blue and... bottle coffee in San Francisco. Woo!